Hey, Sud Squad. Welcome to the Sud Welcome to my new studio. Yes, this is the SoCal's new studio and I am going to give you a tour of this amazing gift from God. So the department that we are in right now is our molds department. That's where our production begins and that's where our production ends. What they do in this department is they take soap that we have already used those molds, they scrape off all the old soap, they make sure they wash it really clean so there's no byproduct of the previous soaps. They reassemble the molds and then they line them. After they line them, then they put them on pallets so that the soap makers, when they are going to make more soaps, they're able to use them. So that's what this department is about. Now I'm gonna take you over to compounding. This over here is our compounding department. This is the basis of where good manufacturing begins. So come on into our compounding room where we have everything at. Okay, so in here I'd like for you to meet Tiffany and Mikey. Mikey is my lead in this department and her job is to make sure that all of our products are compound correctly according to the formulas that we are making. So for an example, here's a label. So we have what the item is, the lot number of that product, the raw material, the batch date, and when the expiration date is supposed to be, and then how much that they are compounding. And they do that for each and every ingredient, and they put that into our bin layout. That makes it so simple, like here's your fragrance, these are all your additives that goes into the pot, here's how much oil. So we keep it as simple as possible so we can all work together and make sure that we're putting out the best product. Woo! Now we're gonna show you where we melt our oils. This was goals. So in this room is actually, my hot room. So if you open this up, you can see is my personal sauna. I know it's very dark in here and hot, but in here basically it's all lined with aluminum. And this is where we put our um, coconut oil and our palm oil to keep our oils hot. Over here is where we master batch those ingredients. So this right here are our totes. So we have our palm oil, our RBD coconut oil, shea butter, olive oil, and what we use is we use this um, pallet jack scale and we weigh out all of our oils that we need to be able to have our super batches. In this tote is one master batch of soap gal soap. This is 2,100 pounds of master batch and we're able to pour about 21 blocks of soap with one tote. And from that master batch tote, we go and we fill up our tanks. But where is, do we keep our sodium hydroxide? Right over here. Over here is our lye station. This is where we batch out our 50-50 solution. We get it pre-made from a local chemical company and they bring in the totes and then we store it here and we batch it out. So each one of these buckets carry the amount of sodium hydroxide that we need to be able to make a batch of soap. We add our additional liquid that we need for that batch of soap into the pot, which we will be sharing, with, sharing that with you later. Now let's show you how we hold our batches of our oil. From our light station, we have our oil tanks. All of our oil tanks are actually wax melter tanks, so they're heated and they're on scales. So what we did is we were able to automate this. So we have our oils in each and every batch, and then as the soap maker is making soap daily, this is what they do. They take one of our tilting pots, they come over here, and up here is what tank it is. So right now, I'm on tank two. I come over here, and it's already measured out of what amount of oil I need. I just push this button and watch the magic. So we are dispensing the oils that we need for this formula of soap. And it's all calculated and pre-measured in this machine and it's all on the scale. So we have 16 different tilting pots and we just rotate those pots 
as we are going through the day so that way we're able to make a bunch of soap. I want you guys to know I'm giving you my my secrets. I want you to be successful and this is how we're able to make a hundred thousand bars. We have our molds already pre-done. We the, In the red buckets is our sodium hydroxide. It's our lye. In the blue buckets is our water so we will never get those mixed up. In this bucket so we know what we need to make we have our fragrance, our colorants, our flowers, our castor oil, our water, everything's already batched out. So that way they're able to just focus and make every block that we need. So after they make their, their blocks, then we go over to our cutting department. From the soap makers, then after they pour the soap, they come and they put it over here. And then they sit it here with the batch ticket. So that way we know when that soap needs to be cut and who's a brand of that soap. So we have five air cutters. And then next to the air cutter, we have our conveyor belt. So they cut the soap, they put it on the conveyor, and they roll it down. After all the bars are cut, we put them on drying trays that we get from soap equipment, and we give them some space in between. We allow them to go into pallets, and we bring it over to the pack department, where we have a bunch of desks and tables where our team members hand pack the soap, but before they hand pack the soap, they have to lock code all those boxes. So if you can see the machine over there in the back, that is our speed um, lock coder. Um, so that it just lock codes all the boxes. So then that way when they pack the soaps, everything is lock code and we have full traceability. So this is our packing department. And now I'm going to get to show you our warehouse. That, ugh. Oh my gosh, you never have enough materials. You never have enough materials. I just got to show you all of my fragrance oils in oil. Oh, God is so good. So over here inside this room is our warehouse. So this is where we keep all of our supplies. This is about 8,000 square feet of just pure soapy goodness but I just want you to be able to see all of the raw materials it takes to be able to make hundreds of thousands of bars of amazing soapy goodness a month. So we have a lot of mad mica. Oh my gosh, Joanna, you make the best mica. We just absolutely love it. It all is lock coated too. To my left, you can see our dock where we have the semi trucks coming in. And then, I mean, to just be able to buy essential oil in drums, I mean, this is goals. It really is. That's the one thing I want you guys to know is I was just like you, and I still am. I mean, the hose fell. I don't want to lose any of that beautiful eucalyptus goodness. <laughs> but I was like you, buying the material small and just growing the business and just being passionate and just focus on what I wanted and letting God know what I want. You know, I had that faith. You, you can have that faith too. As you can see, this warehouse is absolutely amazing. I did not start out in drums and totes. I started out with a small little bottle of anointing oil and I asked God, can you please never allow my oil to run dry? And look, I have drums, or actually it's not a drum, it's a tote of olive oil right here next to me. And I want you to know that that's what my channel is about. Please subscribe so that I can help you to scale your business because it's only because of him and his glory that I'm able to be here. Remember, lather, rinse, profit, repeat. I will see you next time.